Psychologist is here and he's ready and waiting to hear your dreams. And De Dave Pinpiller Hell has been in touch. Good afternoon to you, Dave. Hello, Larry. I have this dream where I'm up in the mountains and trying to get a weight onto my shoulders. I can see the colour blue at the end of the ledge. I want to get into it, but I know it's a thousand foot drop. I never get to the end of it, but feel drawn to this colour blue. What does this mean, Ian? This is a fantastic dream from Dave. It's actually a really spiritual dream. I know it seems quite simple. He's just up in the mountains. He's on a ledge and he's drawn to this blue colour. So when Dave's up in the mountains, he's making some effort. He's got up there through his sheer efforts and he's trying to make something happen. There's something really good going on for Dave. It's quite cerebral. It's quite high level. And he's on a ledge, so he's in quite a safe place, but he's like in a transition area. And he's drawn towards the colour blue. And the colour blue is very often a spiritual colour. It's to do with your spirituality and also with your emotions, all those unconscious things that we don't normally work with in waking life. And he's drawn to this blue colour, but he knows it's a thousand feet down. So it shows in waking life that Dave has the opportunity to take a big step. Now, it's a really big step. It's not going to end in disaster with him falling down a thousand feet. It's just a transformative period in his life. So the action from the dream is for Dave to consider what he really wants to do with his life just now. He's got this great idea. He's really, really thinking about it. He's taking it to a really high level. And he's got to take some transformative step and decide whether he wants to do that. And if and when he does, he'll probably get a whole lot of peace and fulfilment from the actions that he takes. Dave, do you have a big idea you're toying with at the moment? Let us know if this makes sense in your world. Great stuff, Ian. Thank you very much. Um, shall we move on to Kim Marks? Because she mentioned that she has this recurring dream where she swallows her wedding and her engagement rings and then she wakes up in the middle of the night and she searches for them on her bedside cabinet. They are there when she's awake. But then she has this uh, choking sensation. Yes, yeah, so there's a combination of dreams going on here for Kim. So one is the one about the rings, and then there's that choking sensation. Now, it sounds like it might be, if you just do it at face value, which is what a lot of people do with dreams, it might be something to do with her wedding, her relationship with her husband, and all that sort of stuff. But it's nothing to do with that. What rings symbolise are a relationship, and it's usually not a personal relationship. It's usually some sort of professional relationship where she is wanting to have a more professional relationship with someone but she feels she keeps having to swallow her words and she can't really speak up and that's why she's choking. So there's something in her waking life where she wants to engage in something professionally and engage in that professional relationship and she's trying to find a way to articulate that and tell other people but she's always choking her words back. So the action from this dream for Kim that she's created for herself is to be more confident in speaking up about her needs and what she really wants and to actively seek out relationships that will advance her professionally. Kim, Kim, Kim. How does that sound, eh? Oh, three, seven hundred, one hundred, one ten. I'm sure she'll come down and tell us that that makes total sense. We'll find out, Ian Wallace. You can text us your dreams to eight, ten, twelve. Ian is here to analyse them all. And there's no such thing as a bad dream, Ian, isn't there? That's absolutely right, Elary, my dream apprentice in Cardiff. Thank you. There is no such thing as a bad dream. The content might seem a little bit disturbing or upsetting, but the dream doesn't happen to you. You happen to the dream and you create everything in it. So when you create a dream that's a bit unsettling, and there's something in your waking life where you are maybe feeling a little bit unsettled and it's indicating actions you can take to do something more fulfilling and satisfying for you that will make you feel happier in waking life. OK, we'll come back with you in a few minutes' time. Finish your coffee and enjoy. Put your feet up. Well, I'll tell you why. This is like... 